what's going on everybody welcome back to supreme tech in this video today we're going to show you how to set up the fire tv stick light um, i'm going to show you exactly what parts of the cords go where in the back of the tv and everything so if you stick around to the end of the video i guarantee you'll be able to set up your own fire stick or fire stick light um, this really goes for pretty much almost every fire device because it, the setup's basically the same. Um, you might have a couple different uh, wires that are different or cords. Your box obviously looks different. Um, but again, the one that I'm setting up is the Fire TV Stick Lite. Um, this one came out in 2020. It's an amazing device. Uh, there's going to be links in the description below. So check that out if you want to buy one. Before we get into it though, if you're new to Supreme Tech, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Also check out my links for Amazon Storefront in the description. Um, I got that and IPVanish VPN. So if you don't got a VPN, you know, I recommend checking that out too. Um, with all that said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so before we get into plugging into the back of the TV, we're going to have to show you what parts go where. Um, if you want to skip, look in the description below. I got timestamp, so you can skip through um, to whatever part you need help with. But first, we're going to, you know, put it together. Uh, first thing we're going to do is grab the actual device. Looks like this. Um, it's got a port at the top and the HDMI. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the extender to it. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Um, just leaves a little extra room easier to plug in. Okay. After that, what we're going to do is take the power cord, power adapter. And we're going to plug it to this end of the micro USB. So we're going to plug it in there. And this is the part that goes into the wall. Okay. Then on the other end of this cord... We got the micro USB. Okay. This is what goes into the actual device in that port there. Okay. That's for the power. So we're just going to plug that in. Okay. And it looks like that. Now that we got this, we're going to move on to the TV and show you how to hook it up in the back. All right. So now we got the TV. Um, we're going to flip it around. Okay. And what you're going to look for is HDMI. Mine's right here, but yours might be on the side. It all depends. D different TVs are different, okay? Um, what we're going to do, we're going to take this part with the HDMI extender, and we're going to look for HDMI port. Now, this TV only has um, one HDMI port, and it's right there. Your TV could have more, um, but got to at least have one HDMI port, which most TVs nowadays have. Um, then we got that plugged in. We're going to plug this part into the power, um, into the wall, and turn this around. Okay, if it doesn't pop up on your screen, what you're going to want to do is look for a button that says um, source or input, and you're going to want to click it. Um, some TVs are different. If it's not working for you, maybe YouTube that specific TV. But we're just going to keep scrolling through until we see HDMI. Okay. Once we're there, um, it should be set up good to go. If it's not, double check your connections and try again. Now what we're going to do is go over how you set it up. Um, you got to have the email address for this to work. And what you got to do with that email is go to Amazon.com and create an Amazon account. Now, this is different than an uh, Amazon Prime account. Amazon Prime, you got to pay money. An uh, Amazon account, you don't need to pay any money to um, create. But you got to have one, okay? If you already have it set up on your old Fire Stick, um, just use the same login stuff as you did for that one. And you should be straight. I'm already logged on, so you won't see this right away when you log on. It's going to ask you for your email that's connected to your Amazon account. Um, you'd fill that in. It might have a software update too, so just wait for that to get going. 
Uh, what you got to do is connect to a Wi-Fi, obviously. Uh, I forgot to mention, too, if you don't have an Amazon account, you can go on your computer and create the account and then just sign in on your Fire Stick if that's easier for you. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to create a whole new account on your Fire Stick. Um, but this is the layout for the Fire Stick Lite. It looks a little bit different than the old layout. Um, I'm going to put a picture up there now. But I'm going to give you a quick little rundown on how to use it. Uh, first thing, the profiles is right here. You can come down here to add a new profile. If you want to delete it, same thing. Just click on this little pencil and click remove. That's the profiles. You can have up to six, which is awesome on this device. Um, a lot of other devices don't let you do that. Uh, but after that, we got library. This is your purchases, rentals, and watch list items. Then you got the home screen. Um, then after the home tab, this is real important. This is the find tab. This is where you can go to search and search for apps in the app store. Um, a lot of people are confused on how to find the app store in this version. Anything that you want to download from the Amazon app store is going to be right here. You just search for it. Um, then after the find tab, you got live TV. This is like IPTV services, Sling, Philo, Pluto. Um, they got Hulu, ESPN. Um, most of these you got to have a subscription for, obviously. After the live, these are going to be your top six apps. By clicking on the three dots, um, this also brings you to all your apps that you have downloaded. So you click on the three dots. And it brings you to every single app you have downloaded. The top ones here, the top six, these are the ones that show up on your home page. So if you want to change something, say we want YouTube at the top, we're going to go ahead and click the options button and click either move to front or move. I like to just use move. Then you can put it wherever you want. After that, we're just going to go over the settings real quick. Um, you got notifications, account and profile settings. This is where you obviously mess with your account. Network is everything to do with how you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, display and sounds. This is where you can um, do all types of stuff. If it's a little too big for your screen, you can calibrate it to fit. Click accept. Um, after display and sounds, we got applications. This is all your apps. Um, you can come down here to manage installed apps. Um, this is a real quick tip. So you just click on an app, click clear cache, and force stop. Okay. If your Fire Stick's running slow, do that for all your apps. So let's go back to the settings. After that, we got equipment control. This is like for if you got a sound bar. Then we got live TV settings. Okay. You got favorites, parental controls, stuff like that. After that, you got controllers and Bluetooth devices. Um, this is going to be your Fire TV remotes, game controllers, and then other Bluetooth devices. If you ever lose your remote, download the My Fire TV uh, remote app. It's in the Android App Store and the Apple App Store. So you can go ahead and download that, and you'll be able to control your Fire Stick without a remote. Um, then we got Alexa, where you can... You know, link up Echo devices and other things. Um, preferences. This has parental controls, privacy. After that, we got My Fire TV. This is where you click on if you want to um, put the system to sleep. You can also restart it or reset to factory defaults. You also want to go to developer options and turn on ADB debugging and install unknown apps. Um, this is if you want third-party apps. So what you do is click this, and you'd find where you download the apps from. So it'd be file link. You'd want it on for that, and you'd want it on for any third-party app. So the last two is just accessibility, all this stuff, and help. Overall, I just want to show you how to set up the new Fire TV Stick Lite. Again, this came out in 2020. And this is an updated version. So you see this setup here. Your Fire Stick might not look like this again. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry. You guys can still do pretty much all the same stuff. 
can watch all your same apps and stuff so don't worry about it again guys if you're new make sure to subscribe and smash that like button thanks for watching everybody and i'll catch you in the next one